A rational function, such as f of x equals x minus 1 over x squared minus 4x plus 3, is continuous everywhere except at the x values that make the denominator 0. So when asked to discuss the continuity of a function such as this, first set the denominator equal to 0. When setting the denominator equal to 0 and solving, you will find the x values where there are discontinuities. In this case, the denominator is a quadratic, which is factorable. x squared minus 4x plus 3 factors to x minus 3 times x minus 1, which means that the x values that make the denominator 0 are x equals 3 and x equals 1. These are two x values where there are discontinuities in the graph. To be a little more specific, we'll identify whether these discontinuities are removable or non-removable. A removable discontinuity is a discontinuity that is discontinuous by a single point, whereas a non-removable discontinuity is more than a single point. In the case of rational functions, non-removable discontinuities take the form of vertical asymptotes. To test for this, I'm going to let x equals 3 first and substitute a 3 into the original function. And when I let it x be 3, the numerator is 3 minus 1. The denominator will be 0 because that was one of the values that made the denominator 0. It gives me 2 over 0. Anytime you have a non-zero value, a number over 0, this implies that at that x value, there is a non-removable discontinuity. For this function, there's a non-removable discontinuity at x equals 3. There's also a discontinuity at x equals 1. What kind of discontinuity? Is it removable or non-removable? Well, we'll let x equal 1 and substitute that into the original function. 1 was a value that, gave, that made the denominator 0. The numerator, substituting a 1 for x, is 1 minus 1. This yields 0 over 0. An x value that yields 0 over 0 implies a removable discontinuity. This is an x value where the limit would exist, but there would be a gap in the graph that is defined as a removable discontinuity. There's a removable discontinuity at x equals 1. So this graph would have two gaps, two places where it's not continuous, a non-removable discontinuity at x equals 3 and a removable discontinuity at x equals 1. If you have access to a graphing utility, this result could be verified. Let's look at the graph of f of x. As you can see, the graph of f of x equals x minus 1 all over x squared minus 4x plus 3 has two gaps in the graph, two breaks in the graph, two x values where the graph is not continuous. One occurs at x equals 1. That is a single point removed from being continuous. That is known as a removable discontinuity at x equals 1. Additionally, there's a gap at x equals 3. This is larger than a single point. This discontinuity comes from a vertical asymptote at x equals 3 and is defined as a non-removable discontinuity. Again, the continuity of f of x can be described as, having, as being continuous at all x values except x equals 1 and x equals 3. At x equals 3, there is a removable, I'm sorry, at x equals 1, there is a removable discontinuity. And at x equals 3, there is a non-removable discontinuity.